Alright guys, so I'm basically sitting here trying to figure out how this camera stuff works. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my camera settings. But yeah. I think the last video that I posted was like good quality and like I get it as like the YouTuber I should know this or as a photographer and videographer I should already have like confidence in my work and mind just say that I think I did good on the video and I really like the video that I did I just want to know that the quality is different than the quality I was using with my iPhone because I brought this camera which I'm happy about. It's a Nikon, and I really like the camera. However, at the same time, I don't want the same quality I had on my iPhone. And I just want everything to be better than what it was on my phone. So, that kind of is annoying that I can't tell. Or that I can tell. I just can't see it, or my settings are all fucked up. I don't, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. But, what I have been doing, I have been doing some research of other YouTubers and other people who do their setups and trying to figure out what they do and how I should set it up because, again, I have no idea what I'm just doing. I'm just trying to do it. And if you can't tell, I'm just going to let everyone know that I am on the floor with my computer because um well <laughs> it's the comfortable place in the house for me to edit also I'm wearing Doc Martens and I'm wearing black denim with a bunch of lint so yeah that's the outfit Okay, so I am officially back from therapy. All in all, hold on, I'm gonna put your guys on a tripod so that I don't have to hold the camera. Oh, darn it, hold on. Okay, I think, I think that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, I think it was a good experience. Sorry, no experience. This isn't the first time I had therapy. I think it was a good session. Um, we talked a lot about, like, self-help and, like, doing things for that reason to help with your self-help and mental health. And... I talked about the fact of like sometimes I feel like I make everyone else happy and I do things because other people want me to do it or because you know I want people to be proud of me of myself but like <laughs> the ultimate thing is, is that like you should be proud of yourself for you not because you want other people to be proud of you. And that's not to say that I'm not proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I have a lot of things and accomplishments that I've overcome. And this is just like a journey to document like my life at the moment. I'm 24, going on 25 in June. I'm excited. So that's good. We also talked about like how sometimes you need to be self I just said this but I didn't get to the point the point sometimes you have to do things and sometimes you have to be selfish to make yourself happy and I'm finally learning to do that and to just say you know fuck it I don't want to do that because that doesn't make me happy or I don't want to do that because that's not what I believe in so I just figured or come to the clue or I learned that um 
I am who I am and I should stop trying to please people and have everyone trying to um, be proud of me when I should be proud of myself. So, yeah. That was a good session. Um, I also, um, so I don't know if you guys know this, but like, <laughs> I'm non-binary and, you know, it can be confusing to explain to some people. And, you know, I've talked about um, gender dysphoria and some things and you, I never really talked about it because one, it's personal, but two, you know, a lot of people have um, comments and a lot of people have opinions and I just never talked about it on here because like, you know, everyone has opinions and everyone tries to gatekeep and police, you know, you're a trendset, you're a trendsetting or whatever stupid the fuck it is. Um, you know, every, not, you know, <laughs> people who are non-binary have gender dysmorphia as well. And, like, I talked a little about, about my dysmorphia and things that I'm struggling with and things that are hard. And, you know, some days I have days where I'm upset and other days I have days where I'm just, like, you know, happy. It's hard, you know, but, um, you just gotta live with it. Some people have situations that they're, you know, unsafe, and some people have situations where they're safe, but yet they still feel trapped. And sometimes I feel trapped, and basically talked about, you know, we had a luncheon a couple of days ago, and I talked about, like, the fact that I wanted to wear something that was comfortable, because I didn't have anything comfortable in my closet or current access to something so I was kind of very like feeling down because I didn't have anything to wear and I didn't want to wear anything that was like uncomfortable that I didn't like and it's not like gender dysmorphia is not not about clothes however <laughs> in theory I was always I was talking about how like I only have one day Literally one day out of a week. Think about that. One day out of a whole week where I just feel comfortable and content. And that is like very rare for me. So I came to the conclusion that for my birthday, which is in June, I want to officially get my name changed. Obviously, the name that you see on my YouTube. Is not my name in real life so I wanted to get my name changed because it was starting for me to help with that process and honestly I just feel comfortable with it. it doesn't have a gender to it it's unisex and I like it and I feel comfortable when people use that so please use that name <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's I think that's everything um yeah I've wanted to have a conversation about how my session went because like you know I want to open up to you guys I want to share like what I go through and what I am going through and things on like how I feel and stuff like that you know I feel like everybody goes through this not everybody but you know people who are part of the LGBT community and just wanted to share, you know, my struggles and, you know, look back on it years from now and think, oh wow, I went through that, but look where I am now, or look back and maybe this could help someone, and someone who's going through the same thing, maybe this could help you and see like, hey, you know, you're not going through this alone, you know, you have someone going through the same thing with you, you know, and yeah. And I always say, like, <laughs> you know, being I, not, I don't identify as, you know, being a man. And I don't necessarily, you know, connect with the being a full female. But I always say, like, if I could be like a Barbie and just have nothing down there, you know, in that never regions, if I could just be a Barbie and just have plastic or nothing down there where it doesn't have, like, 
part, I would be so happy. So, like, scientists, if you're out there, if it's possible for science to happen, make that happen. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, that, you know, that could probably never happen. But, we could dream and it could happen. We just need more scientists. No, but, uh, yeah, um, so that's what happened today.